Hi there, welcome back. In the previous showcase zoom effect video, a comment was asking how I use the showcase zoom in my tutorial videos. And today I will show a few effects I used often in my videos, including the showcase zoom. Also I've made a few changes and fixes on the showcase zoom effect, you can download the new version through the link in the description below. Here is a copy of the timeline from the previous showcase zoom video, the editing is already complete. Before I render the final video, I usually go through the timeline and see if there are places that need highlights or zooming to get the viewer's attention. For example here, I was introducing the parameters in different groups. It would be helpful to show a box around the group, so that it's easier for viewers to see where I'm referring to. In this case, I add an essential rectangle box to the timeline from the generators folder, the first one is align the position, and adjust the duration to match the time for that group. The second group Enable the fusion overlay in the viewer. Move the box to the right. Resize the box to surround the parameters in the first group. The first one is now I have an animated box the indicating the area, area I'm currently one, explaining. The brightness when the showcase is active. To add a box the for the next group, I just make a copy and adjust the position and time as needed. The second group is for the showcase. Sometimes instead of the box, I want to highlight a small area to show the current action. Here I was dragging the slider to change the value. And I want to highlight the corner radius parameter to create the attention. Add an adjustment clip to the timeline. Apply the essential spotlight effect. Align the clip with the main video. Change the duration to set how long we keep the highlight on. Enable the fusion overlay in the viewer. Drag the center point control to move the spotlight over the parameter. Change the spotlight size and shape to match the area. For example, we can change the source size. Similarly, I copy the adjustment clip if I want to add another highlight for another place. For example, this full screen zoom parameter, move the spotlight and change the size. We'll talk about this full screen zoom option a bit later. Another effect I use is this showcase zoom effect. In most fusion tutorials, I need to work on the parameters in the inspector. It would be easier to see the detail when it's zoomed in with larger views. Here in the timeline, I was showing the parameters and it would be helpful to zoom in the panel. So I added an adjustment clip to the timeline and applied the showcase zoom effect. Make sure the fusion overlay is enabled in the viewer. Use the controls on the screen to move the source center to the inspector, change the size. The showcase pop-up seems a bit too large, so I changed the showcase size to 1.5. Move the pop-up over the source inspector, in this case we don't need both images. The animation. Also I don't need the perturb effect, so I turned that off. The animation. Instead of the white border, I prefer a red one for the pop-up and thinner line. The animation can this looks good to me. The to set up another showcase at a different time, I just duplicated the adjustment clip. Since it's for the same area, there is no need to change the source and showcase definitions. The only adjustment required is the clip duration in the timeline. Mainly simple expressions to control the reason the I zoom in only on the they inspector is that I want to keep the viewer in place to, to check the, the results as we made they changes in the inspector. In the 
but sometimes, a full screen zoom might be better suited. Here in the timeline, I was talking about the nodes. I just want to focus on the node editor. Copy the adjustment slip. In the viewer, move the source center to the node editor. Enable the full screen zoom option. Order and shadow. Adjust the source center if needed. And that's it. Brightness, border and shadow effects. If I want to use all these effects together at the same time, I stack them up. For example here, I already have the red outline. I can copy a spotlight and put it above. Move it to the desired position in the viewer, which is the showcase size parameter. The size controls the zoom in scale. Adjust the highlight duration in the timeline. The size controls the zoom in. And last, I copy the showcase adjustment clip, put on the very top. Do the adjustments accordingly. If I want to have a full screen zoom, all I need to do is to enable the full screen zoom option. This showcase zoom effect is very handy and really helped save me a lot of time. Which is self The second group is for the show. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.